Hi everyone, I'm so glad you've joined me today. We're starting to move into a very special season, the season of Christmas. The church calls this season Advent. Advent is a celebration each Sunday before Christmas as we prepare our hearts to celebrate the birth of Jesus. You see, God promised to his people the greatest gift of all, the gift of a savior. And hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophets told us and even wrote down all about Jesus, about this promised gift. They wrote down what God had told them, and you can actually read those promises in your Bible in the Old Testament. These promises of the great gift of the gift of Jesus are called prophecies. And the prophets wrote and told us amazing things. The prophet Isaiah wrote that a child would be born unto us, that he would be called Wonderful Counselor and Prince of Peace. That child is Jesus. He also told us that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem, he would be born from an unmarried woman, and he would be called God with us. That's exactly who Jesus is, God with us. Isaiah and the prophet Zechariah also told us that Jesus was our Savior, that Jesus is the one who would take away our sins. The prophets told us hundreds of years before the first Christmas about this gift, the gift that we recognize in Advent. And the first gift that we recognize with the coming of Jesus is the gift of hope. And that's what Jesus is. Jesus is our promise and he is our hope. Jesus is the one who holds all things together. He is our savior. And so to show you a little bit more, I brought in a gift today and you may notice that my gift bag has the word hope. So let's see what's in this first gift of Advent for hope. Oh, what I have in here is a piece of paper and I have two paper clips. And on that piece of paper, what I have and what you'll see is a picture of Jesus. And I want to see if I can get my two paper clips to connect together, but not touch them with my fingers. That seems kind of impossible. But that's what's so amazing about Jesus. You see, Jesus makes everything possible. He is our hope. He is the one who holds all things together. So on my paper is my picture of Jesus. And I'm gonna take that picture of Jesus and fold it in half. I'm going to take my first paper clip, which is pink, and I'm just going to attach it right there on the paper. Pink paper clip right there. Then I'll fold it over, and I'm going to take my second paper clip, which is silver, and I'm going to attach it right onto my picture of Jesus. And so now I have two paper clips, the pink one and the silver one, but they're not connected. Now, I'm not going to touch them with my fingers. So the only thing I'm going to touch is the edge of the picture of Jesus. And as I pull it, watch what happens. <gasps> Look at that. Now my paper clips are connected. That's what Jesus does. Jesus connects everything. He holds everything together because Jesus is our hope. The hope of all of our sins taken away, the hope to be reconciled to God. And it was given to us on the first Christmas through the birth of our Savior, Jesus. I'd like you to listen to these words. These words were written in the book of Colossians. This is Colossians chapter 1, verse 17. Jesus is before all things, and in him all things hold together. That's the promise. That's who Jesus is. Jesus is our hope. He is our Savior. Would you pray with me? Let's bow our heads and talk to God. Father God, thank you for the gift of hope. Thank you for the gift of Jesus. And it is in his name we pray. Amen. I'm so glad you were here today. I hope you come back again. We're going to learn more about all of the gifts that are given to us in the season of Advent as we wait and celebrate the birth of our Savior Jesus.